I want to talk about reverse, the reversed force principle. I'd like you to take a, a front stance for me, please. Okay. Now I want you to root and be very firm in that position. And I'm going to push you gently here. And you're going to maintain a strong posture. I'm going to push you from this direction and you're going to maintain a strong posture. Okay, so here we go. I'm pushing from the front. I'm pushing from the back. I'm pushing from the front. Oh dear. I was pushing from the back. So, I'm pushing from the back. What I'm doing, I'm playing silly games with Andrew. So, if I set Andrew up to believe he's going to be pushed this way, but I instead push this way, because he's resisting my force in a particular direction, then if this comes, he's unbalanced. In this game, you need to have your centre of gravity and your weight and your rootedness, your fudo, this way, not in any particular direction. So if you think about focusing down to the ground, as if you are one of those enormous sequoia trees with an enormous taproot that goes down into the ground forever and ever, you are there. You can think of yourself like that, you can think of yourself as a pyramid. That's not going anywhere. It's there to stay. So you're thinking down, so it doesn't matter whether the force comes from a particular direction anymore. So, I'm going to push from behind, but I'm not. Now we're getting there. Okay. So, Andrew can overcome that game of reversing force. Here's another one. If Andrew grabs my wrist and I want to release with one of my circular release techniques, but he happens to be too strong for me and I can't achieve it, that's no problem. As soon as I feel that resistance, I go the other way. Because what's happening, we try it this way. I'm set, trying to set Andrew up to resist me in this way, and then I go that way. And so I fall out of the technique. I'm offering up some force in one direction in order to achieve an outcome in the other direction. If Andrew is throttling me enthusiastically, and I want to achieve this here, but because he is super strong, and I'm getting into this situation, if I change, if I change the way I'm working it, I can <clears throat> affect the breakaway, even if the technique is not as mechanically sound. I can try this way. I can set Andrew up for believing that he needs to resist that. And then I'm coming here. So I'm reversing the force. I'm setting him up to resist in one direction, and then I'm coming out the other direction. In Ten Zen Kata, we have the processes where somebody's twisting your arm. Okay, doesn't matter which way. Twisting my arm, let's make a good job of it. Make a good job of it. Ah! That's lovely. Good. Thank you. So, when this happens, yes, please, the first thing I do is resist. I do my unbending arm principle. Okay? But I, and I can play games with that. I can either run it the full extent and deny that, or if I feel that I don't have the capacity to resist Andrew's greater force, then I can set the resistance up 
until such time as I can take advantage of what's going on. So I take advantage of Andrew's force against my arm. If you were twisting it the other way, that's it, yes. No, that's it, that's it, great. And do that enthusiastically for me, please. So I'm obliged to turn. However, again, if I do my unbending arm bit, now I might be able to get away with that in its entirety and that might be the end of the matter. But if I feel that Andrew is getting the better of me, then I still offer that resistance in order to take advantage of what he's trying to achieve. It's, it's the same process. It's reversing the force. If Andrew is trying to push me against the wall, then I can offer token resistance, and then I can just allow that to happen. So as, as soon as Andrew is pushing me, I'm resisting that to set him up into a belief that he's got me under control, and then I just allow for him to unbalance himself in that situation. If Andrew is pulling me, I might offer momentary resistance in order to overcome him in the other direction. It's just a game of reversing force. And it happens lots and lots in our martial art. Um, we're looking for the easiest, the most functional, the most effective um, outcome. And where we, can, where we can achieve that kind of process, then, then it's, it's well worth exploring. It's something that we, we should think about.